We have a nature's head toilet and just recently the fan went out. Of all things, the fan went out. <laughs> so it's the one thing that's supposed to keep it dry and keep the smell outside the house instead of inside the house, right? This is the fan. So this fan was right inside the um, pipe of the toilet. I'm gonna go inside and show you where it was. So this, our nature's head toilet, and over here is the outtake pipe. It's inside this little plastic thing, is this tiny little fan that goes inside here. There's a cord that um, attaches here and can plug into the wall and turns this fan on and it just keeps it on all the time. And then the you know smelly, moist air will run down this, run down that pipe and outside of the tiny house. So let's go ahead and go and replace this tiny little fan. So the fan I'm gonna replace this with, this tiny little fan, is this fan. <laughs> this thing is five, almost five inches across, and this involves a totally different setup. This is uh, actually a variable speed fan, um, and it's AC, so it's not DC. We don't run off of battery power. This is a fairly low voltage, 10 to 12 watts. So not much. Here you can see two fans next to each other. This is a great little fan. Like it was 30 bucks and it comes with these little grates that go over the top of it on both sides. And I'm actually using two more of these fans for other projects that I also hope to film. So we'll see how this one goes and then work on that one. But I'm gonna take this fan and put it inside this weatherproof box because it's going to be mounted underneath the house on the outside and um, it will have the box like i said it'll have about a four inch hole on this side and on this side i'll put a small i think it's like two and a half inch hole where the the exhaust pipe goes to so the idea is that it sucks all the air out and this is the whole reason i got this fan is because it's got variable speed this it goes you know from low to high um, and i really wanted something that was variable because our house is so well insulated that in the winter if all of the you know doors and windows are closed you can feel the cold air coming in from outside just under the door and it only did that because of this fan so this fan would pull just enough, draw just enough air that, and blow it outside that air needed to come in and replace it. And it would come in under the door. So by me getting a variable speed, if I feel like it's blowing a gale underneath the door, I can turn this thing down. Um, so yeah, so that's my idea. And I guess I'm gonna start working on it. I'm gonna go, um, see exactly where I'm going to mount this sucker. Right, Winnie? Yeah. That's the front of the house, back of the trailer. Front of the trailer, back of the house. Down here is where the exhaust is. In front of, because that's the front of the trailer, in front of my tandem axle. So I'm going to go down there and show you what this thing looks like. Right here, this guy right here, this is the pipe, uh, the exhaust pipe for the toilet fan. All right, so it comes out, so you can see it comes out right here, goes around this way, and this right here is just a little cage, and the fan blows the air out, and it goes in two different directions, it's the idea. Um, so what I'm gonna do is replace all this and make this pipe go straight into uh, into that box where the fan's gonna be mounted. I want to plug in the fan at, on that side of my trailer, so towards the hitch. So I'm gonna have to run a wire, probably maybe down the I-beam, 
uh, just so I can plug it in over there. But I want the um, rheostat, the thing that makes it variable speed, inside the house. So I'm gonna have to run the wire inside the house to that variable speed thing and then back down. Um, and I can probably go through all through the same pipe. It shouldn't be that big a deal. But so that's the project. <laughs> and and I gotta lay under the house the whole time, which I never like. Uh, I just don't like doing it. Ah! So that's condensation water. It didn't drip on me, which is great. Oh. So I'm in the bathroom. All right, I might, it might be easier for me to move the toilet. Do I wanna to move the toilet? I just emptied the toilet and cleaned it out. So uh, moving it isn't the biggest deal in the world, but if Alexis has to pee, then uh, there's a problem. <laughs> but this is always a problem with this thing. Oh, there we go. So yeah, so you can see the outside there. There's the part, there's those two wires that run down there. Uh, now I'm gonna run two more wires down there. So this is the variable speed thing, you know, low to high. And this is where it plugs into the fan. This is where it plugs into the outlet. So I'm gonna run these out. Let's see if I can do this. So going out here shouldn't be a big deal. Okay, so I'm gonna mount this uh, little thing right here next to the toilet so you can kind of see where it's going to be um that might be better then i can run the cord down the side of it and it'll be a little cleaner because i like a little cleaner let's do a little pre-drill there we go all right i got the the switch variable switch uh, mounted to the wall inside this is the box it's gonna go out here so I have to figure out where the hole is gonna be and how I want to mount it see I could you know hang a left and then go into the side of this box I just don't want to do that because I'll get condensation and I don't want to do that I think I think just straight down and blow all that fun smell out um, yeah. The hole's gonna be right at the edge over here. <laughs> so yeah, it's a little bit bigger, but that's okay. Yeah, that's totally gonna work. The pipe will stick out just into the box. The air will come out, fan will blow it down. Ooh poop smell will accumulate inside this part of the box and then blow out. That's the idea. All right, smell tubes coming down. Don't drop the knife on my face. I should be good. Where I live, we have a couple of puppy dogs. So we got Winnie, who's mine. And then this is Dash. Stop! Ah! <laughs> Stop, Dash. Hi, 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 hi. Oh, oh. All right, all right, that's enough. And the other dog, Ruger. He's sweet. He's a little old little dog. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, get out. And then there's a box. And then the box. That seems to be working pretty good. And this shouldn't be too difficult. I mean, look at that. You know, just straight through the mounting holes and there'll just be a big hole right there. Big ass hole with the hole saw. This is gonna be mounted on the inside, so it'll be like this. 
Um, I just want to make the mounting, it's got mounting holes, so I'm going to mount, make sure I mount it the right way around, airflow this way. So the fan's going to be this way, this box is going to be mounted this way. So it's nice to have a little container of where you can put stuff, so you can knock that off the table and all of your pieces are everywhere. Okay. Flip it over. That side out, that side down. This side, let's do this. Let's go through here. Oh, look at that. That's what I want. So as far as poop fans go, this is gonna be like Mac Daddy fan, right? Going from this to this. We got our fan mounted to the inside of the box. The box has the hole in the back. I'm gonna mount this to the bottom of the house. Then I'll come and get this. I'll remember to hook up the power. And then four screws and she'll be golden. And be able to turn it on and Ooh, I'm just exhaust <laughs> all the poop smell <laughs> from the house. That'd be great. Put this guy up through the hole. Get the power for the fan out with it. So I'm gonna put it through this hole. Put the pipe through the hole right there. Hey, Dash. Stop. Stop. <laughs> you gotta go. You gotta go. Boop, bow. <sighs> All right, where was I? Same screws I had before. Self tapping. <gasps> cool. And this um, sheet metal is like, uh, you know, eighth of an inch, sixteenth of an inch. It's it's real thin. I can't remember what size it is, but holds the holds the nails real well. But up in there is insulation, so I know there's no pipes or anything right here because this is where the toilet is. All my pipes are on the walls, and they're all on that end of the house, so I didn't have to worry about anything when I was plugging this in. So I want to plug this in. Put this on like that. Take screws. Oh. The moment of truth. Oh, Ooh. oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, it works. That really works. So great success. Um. Ex oh. <laughs> yeah, that's working. I went inside and it already, you know, draws a ton more than this. This thing is really cute, but what I put in there is going to be amazing. It's going to help with keeping everything inside the nature's head toilet dry and not smelly. So hopefully if you're looking to change your little dinky composting toilet fan out to something a little bit bigger. Hopefully this video helped. And if it did, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we're gonna have more stuff like this because we're gonna be sitting in one place for a while. So it gives me time to work on the house. I can, I can do all kinds of projects. Um, also, we have a Patreon if you guys wanna check that out. And there's probably two more videos on the screen that you can go check out. So subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys later. Thank <laughs> you.